Kirsten and I want to show you a great home decor project that I made using basic terracotta pots and Plaid's folk art chalkboard paint combined with Plaid's folk art basic acrylic paints. They work great together. First what I did is I got a basic terracotta pot and I applied just the regular black acrylic paint onto the rim and also onto the surface. I let that dry and then what I did is I took an old candle with an old white candle and I rubbed that on there just randomly. Then I applied, applied the yellow acrylic over top the black and then what the wax does is when you go back and sand, the wax allows that second color to lift off the base coat color. You can see these rims have that real heavy distressed finish and that's using the acrylic paints and the wax and the sandpaper. So once that's done, we use the plaid chalkboard paint. Now the chalkboard paint works great with the acrylic paints to complete a project, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to mix the two together. I use just the acrylic on the rim and now I'm using just the chalkboard, chalkboard paint on the base. You want to use the chalkboard paint with a dry brush. You don't want to mix water and you don't want to mix mediums. You want to use a soft bristle brush you can also use a foam brush or a roller and you want to just go in and do a very, very thin coat. You want to let that dry for one hour and then you can go back and do a second and sometimes even a third coat. Once it's, you finish the coats that you want to apply, you want to let it dry for 24 hours so that it's completely cured. So I just went in and I painted the pots using the black chalkboard paint and then you would let that dry. You always want to make sure that you prime your chalkboard surface once it's, once it's dried. You would just take chalk, you would hold it on the side, and you would basically just cover the entire chalkboard surface. Then you would get a wet, wet rag and you would wipe it off. That makes applying the chalkboard or the chalk much easier and also when you go to erase it. Then what I did is I just made this great little gift for somebody's kitchen. I planted the herbs in it and you can just go with the chalk and you can write the name of the herb. It's a great little gift idea or a great home decor project.